guys welcome back to my channel i hope that everybody had a wonderful new year's and yeah happy 2020 i hope this year is filled with blessings for everybody and as you can tell by the title below i am talking to you guys today about my cartilage i got it pierced at claire's so yeah i just want to talk to you guys about my experience and kind of what um it's been like getting my cartilage pierced and yeah i wasn't really sure about filming this video but i was like you know what i personally didn't actually find a lot of videos on on like getting a cartilage pierced and then getting it done with a gun because i guess you're really not supposed to so yeah if you guys want to see what the rest of this video is about then just keep on watching all right guys so first just disclaimer i am sorry about this hair literally like the last time i went blonde which was like half a year ago there was so much breakage in my hair that it's like finally grown, growing, but it, there's like so many flyaways and like I have like a hundred bobby pins in here, but I just really missed putting my hair in a ponytail. I haven't been able to do that in so freaking long, so I'm just like, <sighs> so excuse that if that's bothering you, I am sorry. Anyway, moving on to the video. So kind of a little backstory to this. Um, my niece, my beautiful niece Luna, she is 10 months and my sister had not pierced her ears and I mean not that you have to, but like in our culture especially like hispanic culture babies baby girls get their ears pierced probably within like the first two to three months um and she had kind of waited a while because she had eczema and she was having like flare-ups behind her ear and stuff like that but i kind of kept asking her if she was going to do it and so she was like i don't know i'm not sure about it and i told her i was like look if you get her ears pierced i will go with her and i will get them pierced myself as well and she held me up to it because we last week she was like hey so i want to get her ears pierced are you still going to do it like you said and i was like yeah so we ended up going to claire's and once we got there i was just going to get like a second hole in my earring but once we got there um i saw that they do cartilage piercings and i've actually wanted to do my cartilage or my helix whatever you want to call it for a while now but i just never really I mean, it wasn't a priority, and I didn't feel like I had to go do it. I was just like, oh, I want to do it one day, but not that I had, like, a a day that I wanted to go. So, anyway, since I was there, and I was already getting a piercing, I was like, oh, why not? So, I did end up getting it on my, what is this, my right ear. I guess it looks like my left on the camera, but it is my right ear. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see it. So, I will zoom in a little bit later, but... Uh, so yeah, I had it done there. I think I ended up paying a little, maybe like a little over $30 for it. And then this is like a gold one. They have some that aren't gold. But, um, since I was gonna, it has to stay in there for at least three months. Although it can take much longer to heal. Um, I figured if I was gonna be able to take it out for three months, I should probably get like gold just so it doesn't get like infected or infected faster, I guess. Um, and so, yeah, I did decide to do that. So I will go ahead and insert the video of me actually getting my cartilage pierced right now. I know. Oh, it wasn't that bad. I was like scared. Oh, no. Why are you crying? <laughs> I, was, I think I was scared more than anything. Yeah. Like, oh. It's the anticipation. Yeah, so as you can tell by the video, it actually really wasn't painful at all. Even my niece didn't really cry. Like, she she got one and then the other pierced. Um, and she didn't even cry, but the, the, little, the second one she cried a little bit. So, I don't know. It's really not that bad. But I did end up saying afterwards that you're really even not even supposed to be getting your cartilage pierced with the gun. It has to be, or it's highly suggested to get it. What the hell? You're really not even supposed to be doing cartilage pier or getting your cartilage pierced with a gun because it can actually shatter your cartilage. And I was like, great. Um, I'm assuming it's legal if Claire's does it there, but it's not recommended. And then I also saw online that you tend to get like a ball behind your ear or something like that after, or it's like more common if you get it pierced with a gun. But the reason I started looking at videos online was because I was like, oh, I wanna, I've heard a lot from my friends that have their cartilage pierced that it's, it gets infected really easily. So I kind of wanted to avoid that, especially because it's a biatch to sleep. I have to sleep on this side and like, even if I want to sleep on this side, like, it's so uncomfortable. And I thought about getting a travel pillow, which I haven't gotten yet. So I probably should because I don't want it to get infected. So therefore, I was cleaning it. And Claire does, I'm going to grab it. So Claire does give you a solution to clean it. And it's this ear care solution. Um, but I ended up seeing online it's probably not the best thing to use. I mean, maybe just for your earlobes, yes. But since I got my cartilage pierced and I got it done with the gun, which I wasn't supposed to, I figured I was going to try to see other ways to clean it and really try to keep up with it so i ended up getting this h2 ocean purified ocean uh 
purified ocean salt water, which looks like this. And I did see it in a few videos that people, especially like tattoo places, they recommend um, you use this for body piercings. This just includes purified water, sea salt, lysozyme, and then sodium citrate. Sorry if I butchered any of those words. I think I paid maybe like $13 on Amazon for this, so it wasn't bad at all. So I'd just rather get this, and I've been using this. It's a little bit easier because it's just a spray, so I spray the front and the back. And then I'm done with the icing, the one they gave me at Claire's. I was using like a cotton ball and I was trying to like drip it in there. And anyway, in a couple of days, it'll be a week that I've had it. So I do want to do maybe like a three month update and kind of see or let you guys know if it got infected or kind of how my process went. Because again, it's not recommended that you get it done with a gun. So I thought I would show you guys. This is what it looks like right now. And this is the back. So I don't, oh, I don't know if you can actually see that. I don't think I have any kind of bump or anything like that, and it looks, sorry, I'm not sure if it's focused, but it looks fine. I have a good space in between, so it's not, like, too tight or anything like that. Um, so, I think it's fine, and, yeah, so, I just thought I would share my experience with you guys, and I definitely want to get, like, another piercing on my cartilage now that I have this one, and I, it wasn't actually bad at all. I do want to get a second one, but I kind of want to at least wait the three months for it to heal and then I think depending on my experience I might end up doing it at Claire's again no I probably shouldn't no I'll probably go to like a tattoo place or something to actually get it done with like a needle I probably if I, got, if I get lucky with this one I probably shouldn't risk my chances again but anyway I thought I would let you guys know my experience and um it actually really wasn't bad the girl that was there she was really nice she was really patient with me and my my niece and my sister, um, cause she was also getting it done, so she was really, really nice and she was really helpful and yeah, so I actually overall had a really good experience, then again, it's only been almost a week, so I am gonna try to continue to use the H2 Ocean, I'm not gonna sleep on it, I'm gonna try to like, make sure I don't, like I wash my pillowcase like often and stuff like that so I don't get it infected, but at the same time I'm not even sleeping on it, I'm sleeping on this side so it shouldn't be a problem. And then for this, why do I have like all these hairs? Um, anyway, and for the same reason that my hair is literally like, I've had so much breakage and I kind of explained at the beginning of the video, it's really hard to try like, I'm always constantly trying to put my hair behind my ear and every time I do that, it does hurt like, cause I end up like banging it. So that is something that I will say is very sensitive. It didn't really swell up. It was like red a few hours after I had it done. But other than that, it was fine. And it didn't really hurt. It wasn't sore. It was just the fact, like, any time that I hit it or I was trying to put, like, yank my freaking hair behind my ear. And I, then I would hit it and I was like, ow, that freaking hurt. Um, so that's the only thing. And, like, even though I just touch it like this, it's fine. But it's just any time that I, it was, like, it's like a hard hit or whatever. I all hit myself. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I kind of just wanted to let you guys in on my experience of getting all my cartilage pierced at Claire's. I don't say that I'm recommending it. I'm just letting you know what my experience is. But from what I see online, it is not recommended to get it done with a gun. I'm just letting you know that. Um, even though I took a chance and I got it. And I didn't really realize until afterwards I wasn't supposed to. So, anyway. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it, you guys. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments down below. That is pretty much it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you in my next video. Bye.